The Beacon study is one of two landmark um, bladder preservation studies. Both of these studies are UK based. Um, so Beacon looked at uh, randomising patients between radiotherapy on its own and radiotherapy with hypoxia modification. Um, this was carried out in the early 2000s, so the study recruited patients between 2000 and 2006. The initial results were uh, published in 2010 in the JCO, and it showed that with a five years median follow-up, that there was an improvement in three years overall survival of about um, 13%. So what we've done is looked at the longer term outcome because patients are surviving longer and longer in all um, disease groups, as, as we well know. Um, so we looked at the longer term outcomes and with our results, we've got 10.3 years median follow up. And what it actually showed is that even in the long term, the Kaplan-Meier curves, the survival curves, continue to separate. And this just shows us that there continues to be a benefit in um, overall survival in patients who had hypoxia modification. And if you think about it, it's not actually surprising because hypoxia is associated with poor outcome in muscle invasive bladder cancer. And correcting this, logically would improve outcomes in patients. Um, there is, we've, we've, within the Manchester group, we have also looked at hypoxia status and whether that predicts um, improvement in, um, sorry, whether that predicts response to hypoxia modification um, and that has been published before as well. And I've, with regards to a long-term outcome that will be discussed at a different meeting.